Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to generate a vertical video inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and export that vertical video so you can upload this to Instagram or Twitter or any social media site that you would like to upload this to. So once you've launched up Adobe Premiere Pro, your typical window will look like this. Now this is set for a 1920 by 1080 widescreen video. So we need to go ahead and create a brand new sequence that is vertical. So we'll go up to File, New, Sequence. And inside of Sequence, we want to go across to Settings and we'll change the editing mode to custom. We'll change the time base to our frame rate of the project. So if you shot your footage in 24 frames per second, for example, then set this to 24 or 23.976. Just match the frames per second of your original footage. So select your time base. We'll go down to frame size. And this is the most important part. You want to change this to 1080 by 1920. And on the right, the aspect ratio should read 9 by 16. Now we'll change the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels, change the fields to no field progressive scan. And then from here, we can just rename the sequence. So we'll rename this to vertical video and we'll press OK. And that is essentially the vertical video created. We just need to import some footage. But just so we can see this vertical video nice and clearly, rather than looking at this tiny box, I'm just going to drag the source monitor over to the right of Premiere Pro so that we can full screen the vertical video. Now from here, we'll drag some footage onto the timeline. This was shot in widescreen, but this was shot in 4K. So as you can see, because this is 4K footage inside of a 1080 vertical video, it has filled the frame. If you were putting 1080 footage into a vertical 1080 project, the video would be in the middle of the vertical video and there'd be black space on the top and the bottom. So in order to fix this, we'll go into the motion tab and we'll pull the scale up or down to a point where the frame is filled with the video. And now there you go, that is your vertical video created. We just need to go ahead and export this from Adobe Premiere Pro. So we'll go up to File, Export, Export Media. And inside of Export Media, we need to adjust and have a look at a few settings just to make sure we get this perfect. So once this tab loads, we can change the format to H.264 Selecting H.264 will mean our file size will be small, which is perfect for mobile devices, but the quality will still be nice and high. From here, we can go ahead and change the output name and destination by clicking on the vertical video tab. And then if we go down to the basic video settings, if we press match source, this should adjust all of the settings automatically to match the original settings that we had. But if you need to change anything for any specific reason, just untick one of the boxes and go ahead and change any of your settings. So your width should be 1080, the height should be 1920. We'll select render at maximum depth to ensure we get the highest quality possible footage. And then we'll change the bit rate encoding to compressed bit rate, that's CBR. And then as you can see, we can pull the target bit rate all the way up to 50, or we can pull it all the way down to one. If we have it on one, then we're gonna have a small file size. So it's estimated to be only one megabyte with a one compressed bit rate. But if we pull this all the way up to 50, then we get a predicted estimated file size of 67 megabytes, which is a lot higher, but the quality will be much better if you have a higher bit rate. And then once you're happy with this, you just press export, wait for the video to export. And if you're on Mac, then you can just airdrop this to your phone, or you can just email the file to yourself to get this onto your phone. Now from here, all you have to do is upload your video to Instagram, put it on your story, post it to Twitter, do whatever you like, but there you go. That is how you create and export a vertical video right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next episode.